What's up everybody and welcome back to the Traveling Circus and it's a bittersweet day here at the house because this is the last video of the Express X21 Pro, the 2022 X21 Pro. It's been an amazing boat, but it's time for it to get out of the garage and hopefully go to a new owner. This boat is for sale so we can make room for that new X21 and it's going to be a little different than this one, but I want to do one final walkthrough, kind of show you everything that I loved about the boat. Some of the things maybe that I didn't like about the boat and, uh, you know, just give you one final walkthrough. Maybe you're new to the channel. Maybe this is your first time seeing the X21 Pro. So let's take a look at it and uh, let's get in this bad boy. Okay, so something that separates express boats from a lot of boat companies right here in the sea deck flooring they go bow to stern with sea deck a lot of people are using it in the cockpits now but this boat actually has it back deck front deck and it is without a doubt my favorite covering i like it so much better than carpet a lot of you had questions in the beginning of the year how it would hold up so this boat has around 100 hours on it i have stood and stood and stood on this sea deck you can see still looks great i've got a couple places you know you get some indentions over time you see this i i did that with rods with reels with hooks at times uh just not being careful but you will get some uh impressions in it but you can see in really good shape and i can tell you i've sold boats almost every year uh with sponsor deals over the past i'll say seven eight years and carpet never looks this good i mean that's a guarantee carpet never looks this good but you just spray it off with a hose you scrub it with a brush some soap and there you go so c deck i give it a you know if i'm ranking it out of 10 after a year and a half i'm gonna say solid solid eight and a half before we go to the front of the boat, just a quick disclaimer, there's a hurricane outside, it sounds like. So if you wonder what the background noise is, that is certainly what it is. Uh, a little thunderstorm this afternoon. But up front, on the business end, Garmin Force trolling motor. This is about my, I think my third year with a Garmin Force. Absolutely love it. Two Garmin 10 inch Echo Maps uh, on a stacked precision sonar mount absolute rock solid mount i'll be running them again this year i ran them the last couple years great people they do a lot of custom mounts and it is uh mind-blowing how sturdy they are to be honest especially you know up front in rough water this end takes the beating for sure in rough water and those things have been super solid can't say enough about garmin's uh i, I know a lot of people that run different brands of electronics that have issues and I'm talking about issues with just electronics coming on a lot of times. They have a lot of problems. And I can tell you, I never hit the power button on these units. I'm on my six year with Garmin that they don't come on. So that is the least of your worries. Of course, I've got live scope up here on the Garmin Force and it's it's been flawless. Recess trolling motor pedal. They put a cup holder, tool holder up here. I'm not a fan of that. I'll just throw that out there. Uh, tools become shrapnel. Uh, and I don't use a cup holder. Of course, when I'm mounting my dual mount, um, you know, the cup holder is kind of useless there because it's covered up right there. But uh, got this all installed at the bass tank. We actually moved the trim switch over to here. Darren at the bass tank did that once we, uh, we went with the dual mount. A lot of folks run a single up front, and I wouldn't mind running a single 12 or even like a Garmin 16 would be really cool to run everything on just one, clean it up a little bit. But stack mount. Precision sonar with garments, sweet. Come back to the console here. This was my first year, smudgy fingerprints all over my Garmin 12 Echo Map. So ran one 12 inch Garmin at the console on a precision sonar mount. And this is the first time for me, I've ran duels for the last several years, but I decided I wanted to simplify it. One 12 inch got the job done for me. A lot of the guys, Jason Christie, Bill Lowen, Caleb Summerall, that are running the Express out, uh, John Sokup out on the tournament trails, professionally, Bassmaster Elites, MPFL. They're running duels back here, so you got plenty of room for it. That wasn't, uh, you know, factored into my decision at all, but got the Precision Sonar single mount, and I never missed having two units this year, man. I ran split screen with mapping, side imaging, down imaging, and y'all know I ledge fish a lot, graph a ton, never had any issues. So single Garmin at the console, you can see cockpit area wise, this thing, I mean, it really, it held up to the traffic, to the traction, 
all year long. Um, I, I'm, I can't be more pleased with the sea deck. You know, I never, never had any issues. You can see the back deck just other than maybe it's a little dirty right now from where I fished out of it yesterday one last time. But overall sea deck, you know, like I said, eight and a half out of 10. But this is where you're constantly you got your feet. You can see, I mean, really, really held up. Seats held up great for the year. Could not be more pleased with the high traffic areas. Back here on the business end, two 10 foot power pole blades, 250 Yamaha show mounted on a Atlas hydraulic jack plate from TH Marine. I love that. Um, something I will say, like a disclaimer. So back here, this box is where the fuel tank's at on this boat and your batteries actually go right here. That's where my pro guides, I got pro guide lithiums in there and these are your live wells. You've got two storage boxes back here. I utilize both of those a ton. You've also got storage under the seats. I utilize that all year long. I will say this though, this is, this is a negative that I have. Um, this compartment is pretty small and I've got four batteries in there. It's, it's and power pole pumps, okay? So everything is right here, but the lid is, is small. The opening is small and I had to swap batteries halfway through the year. Pro Guide came out with lithiums and I swapped my EGMs out for lithiums. And it, it's kind of tricky, the configuration to get them in there, but it's nice and neat. Uh, but I will say, that is a negative that I do have uh, that compartment, but but on a new layout that will be changed. You have a cooler right here between the seats. I utilize it for like a day box. Express actually calls that box in the floor right there a trash can <laughs> uh, instead of a cooler. Uh, the new boat that I'm getting is gonna be a little different. You'll see that, but that's a cooler. It keeps ice great for a lot of people. I never utilize it as that. I actually used that right there for my cooler uh, most of the time. Use this tool holder. I actually customized mine and put some foam in there to hold the tools in place a little bit better because the slots were pretty big and they fall over when you go to close this box. So I added some foam there, but just a ton of storage in this boat. All the way around, you can get a ton of stuff in it. You can go back and see my original video on this boat. I'll post a link, but Tons of storage, it just, I don't know. I can't say enough about the X-21. Rod locker is absolutely one of my favorite things in this boat. You can get a ton in it. I took the organizer out of it, but you can uh, you can load this bad boy down with tons of rods. I post that in a previous video, but uh, amazed by the space. You've got a, a net uh, mesh, cargo net that you can put i put spare reels in that this year when i was on the road different things but uh, amazing how much storage you've got you'll notice the lid though it opens up that was different for me but i really liked it I'm, I'm like i'm in the shop today i would load rods you could pull them and actually be outside the boat i really liked that for access um, the only thing i had to get used to is when you had rods on the front deck and you would open on the water you had to be careful because if your rods were strapped down you can see so your rod handles are going to go right here it would stress your rods obviously so you'd want to kick them to the side if you had them strapped down um, with the if the rod locker opened this way you wouldn't have to worry about it. you might have to worry about throwing one in uh, if it opened like most rod lockers do but i really liked that once i got used to it it was a little different but uh, once i got used to that setup i really liked it storage under the seats like i said power pole charge that's actually where i mounted it it worked really well really love the charge it's it's been an awesome system but i could just run the power cable over the side leave that open so it's good and ventilated and uh love that setup all year long i will say if you were interested in this boat at all um that is not coming with it we all know there's supply issues all over the place so the power pole charge will be coming out and i'll be putting a different charger in there if i can find one fingers crossed well that's all she wrote for the final express x21 pro walkthrough video and it's very bittersweet like i said a lot of great memories in this boat had this thing up in the great lakes had it down in the gulf of mexico had it down at oh ivy reservoir fishing for giant largemouth last february fish tournaments out of it fish tournaments with my boys uh, just amazing the memories that we created in this bass boat. Super, super pleased to be in it. Super pleased to be a partner with Express Boats. I can't thank the 
family at Express Boats enough for, uh, you know, thinking enough of me to partner up on Low Budget Live and for the YouTube channel in general. A uh, few thoughts in closing. If you're in the market for an aluminum bass boat, these are not your granddaddy's aluminum John boat. They have an X19 and an X21 Pro. You can get them with sea deck. You can get them with carpet. The 19's a rocket ship. It's ready for a 200. It's an amazing boat. This boat's ready for a 250. I will say, I get a lot of questions about speed. This boat is not lightning fast. It's not. It's not as fast as you would think. Fully loaded, I'm running upper 60s with a full tank of gas, live wells, a tournament partner, and as much crap as I carry, okay? You've seen the videos, I carry way too much tackle, but it does weight the boat down and it does slow it down. I've seen uh, days where I've been in the 70s with the 250 Yamaha show in this boat, but the way I run it, most of the time loaded, it's gonna be in that upper 60s. So just wanna throw that out there, get a lot of questions on that. Rough water, you can see from some of the videos, it's spectacular. The boat lands a lot softer than you would think. Never had any issues. The only uh, negative as far as handling that I had, the boat is, you know, it's high sides. And I struggled when coming into dock sometimes in a crosswind, it will catch it when there's no weight up front with actual a person standing on it. When you're fishing, you don't notice it. Uh, but when you're sitting at the console and the nose is, and the weight's in the back of the boat and the, and the bow's up a little bit and you get a big strong wind coming into a dock, coming into a trailer, you do have to pay attention. I will say it, it varied from a fiberglass boat in that regard. But overall, it was a, beast of a boat and I can't wait to get the 2023 backed in here and get back to making videos and show you guys uh, that new one because uh, I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. Hit me up if you're serious about this boat. DM me on Instagram. Send me a message on Facebook. Comment here or you can send me an email lowbudgetlive the number one at gmail.com lowbudgetlive1 at gmail.com I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you're subscribed to the Luke Duncan's Traveling Circus YouTube channel for more fishing videos out of these awesome express bass boats and I'll see y'all next time.